I, I am a, a non-Muslim and, and my name is Lita Haha. I want to ask the daughters of a few questions about the Islamic effect in the economy. Like the Islamic fire. effect in the economy? economy. Yes. Which economy? And the, uh, the second one is about the... Whether the first question, effect of Islam in economy. Yes. You want to know what is the impact yes. and effect of Islam uh, in economy? First question. Yes. First, the impact of Islam and economy. The Islamic economic, I've given a lecture. <laughs> Interest-free economy. In Islam, we believe in economy. It should benefit. But Islam is against riba, as I mentioned in my talk. According to Imam Dhabi, it is the 12th major sin. Allah says in the Quran in Surah Baqarah, chapter 2, verse number 278-279, if you do not give up demands of riba, of interest, Allah will wage a war against you. So in Islamic economy, you should not deal with interest. Anything dealing with interest is prohibited. You cannot take a loan from the bank on interest. You can take loan from a bank on an Islamic Sharia concept. Call as Musharika, call as Mudariba, call as Maraba. There are various aspects. But interest, it is haram. So if you have this economy which is not based on riba, it will be a more stronger economy. We know a few years back in 2008, there was a collapse of economy, right or wrong? The Citibank went down, everything went down, right or wrong? Because of, of riba, because of interest. So Islam is against interest. For more details, you can refer to my video cassette, interest-free economy promulgated by the glorious Quran.